This project, funded by Terrain, allows for the introduction of dung beetles into the southern tablelands here. These dung beetles will augment the native dung beetle, which is here, but not in very prolific uh, numbers. The biggest problem with cattle in the tropics is buffalo fly strike, which is a huge impost financially on us. With the dung beetle, they eat the larvae of the buffalo fly that lay in the dung. We have introduced them into 19 farms onto the tablelands. These farms are strategically placed. I became one of those trials. It was a bit strange in that I wasn't very interested in beetles until the dung beetles came along and I became very passionate about what I was doing and passionate about the environment. Once the beetles were delivered, we needed to know what strains of beetles would put up with the winter, would actually go through the, the wet seasons. In the last 18 months, the buffalo fly problem has at least halved. So the beetles are really doing their job. What we're actually looking for right now is sign that the beetles are in the cow pat. That sign will be a little bit of dirt that's pulled out from under the cow pat as they are burying their hole in to the ground to aerate the ground and drag nutrients into that ground. This one, there's two holes already shown, there's dirt already pulled out and this cow pat has almost disappeared. It's not much left, that will be about five days old. All that's left is the dry roughage. When it comes to fertilising, they're already doing it for you. This is an organic way of what beetles can do to your soil, to the cow pat, as well as the grass around it. The nutrients are staying in this area and not running away to the stream. One of the biggest challenges we've faced has been the education of farmers in using dung beetle friendly chemicals. One of the major chemicals that is advertised that dung beetle friendly is cydectin that works tremendous on worms, ticks, but is friendly to dung beetle. The best part about the project, it's very cost effective. Beetles require no maintenance, no feeding, no looking after, just use dung beetle friendly chemicals. If left to themselves, they multiply prolifically, they will sp spread prolifically, uh, and um, it's just win-win. Cow dung is at any time being turned over into the ground. I still go out with a stick, open up the dung, have a look and see what varieties I've got still with me. So I'm really happy.